So in this video, I'll show you uh, how to uh, chart the um, uh, analysis that you've uh, done in the, uh, the time series additive model. So here's the chart that I'm going to uh, draw here. So as you can see, it's, you can draw a very nice chart here showing the data, the trend, and then your forecasts with a nice um, legend and uh, appropriate um, labels on the axes. I have added an art, a chart title here. Obviously, you'd need to add one, uh, an appropriate title here. So let me just delete this and then show you how to do it. It's very easy. Now, the, the secret here is to make sure that when you highlight the data, you include not just the uh, data period, the sample period, but also the forecast period uh, for all the variables. And that will mean that for the trend and the forecast, you'll be highlighting blank cells. But if you don't do that, things won't be um, drawn or plotted in the correct uh, position. So all you need to do is to first of all highlight the data itself, including the label, so that we get that in the legend. So I'm going to, as you can see, I'm going to highlight the whole the data plus the forecast period here. Now, holding down the command key or the control key on Windows, highlight the trend data, and again, including the label and the whole period, including these blanks at the start, and continue to hold down the command key or control key, highlight the forecast. Again, you can see what you need to do here. If you just highlight the actual data itself, it won't plot it in the right place. So all we need to do now is to go to the insert menu and uh, choose a line chart. And there we have our chart. So we just need to yeah, add some axis labels here for the horizontal axis here. I'll just make it larger like that. Uh, as I say, you would need to add a title as well, obviously, such as unit sold or something similar. Um, we've already got the legend. Really all we're missing, and notice how it's plotted things in exactly the right place here. Uh, we've already got a nice legend. It's just these labels here. All you need to do is to go to Select Data and change the horizontal axis labels. Now, this is here on the Mac. On Windows, you'll find that these things are um, in, in a, they're, they're on the Windows, you'll find there are two panels in this dialog box on the left, where the data series appear, and on the right, where you put the horizontal axis labels. And you'll see there, there's a button called Edit, which you have to click first to, get, to bring up this box here. But once you've got this, you can drag over and here's a neat thing in Excel. If you drag over both the years and the quarters, then as you can, as you'll see, it puts these. And then click OK. It puts these in very neatly with the quarters and the years underneath. So as you can see, it's very easy to create a nice chart uh, of your data and of your analysis.